There's a lot of people out there suffering and they just don't know how to get out of it. They've got a huge mountain to climb and they just, a lot of them feel like they've just given up. They pride themselves on being invisible. And I, I was thinking about it and my heart just hurt as I was reading like these letters. And one in particular was from a gentleman named David who was 630 pounds at the time. I was 24, he was 25. And 630 he, pounds at, at 25, 25 years, years, old. years old. And the doctor had just left his house and said, you're not gonna see 30. You will absolutely die before then. And he just wrote me this long letter saying, I, I feel like I'm made for more. I feel like my life, you know, it can't be in vain. I want to get married. I want to have kids. I want to do all these things. And it just like, my heart just hurt for him. I couldn't stop thinking about it. But my producer even told me, she said, you can't answer all these letters. You can't save everyone. But, and I, I couldn't stop thinking about David. And it was just what he wrote really resonated with me. So I drove to his house one day and I was like. Did hey, he I send his, how did you know he, where he, he lived? He did have, his, yeah. I wrote back to him and I said, I, I just want to meet with you. That's it, I, okay. no promises, I, I just wanna meet with you. And he hadn't left his house in two years, so I knew he was gonna be there. So I was like, hey look, I'll, I'm just, I'll see you on uh, Tuesday, right? And so I showed up and we hit it off. I mean, we're sitting there 10 minutes, 10 minutes in, we are laughing, we're talking about South Park, we're telling <laughs> jokes, we're just having the greatest time. And I'm like, look dude, I don't know where this is gonna go, but I'll see you Thursday. And I showed up every other day, for two years, and he ended up losing 400 pounds, became one of my best friends in the process. And that, that's where I realized like my passion is helping people through the massive journey of transformation. But even then, it was, I was still so science-based. It was like, this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna structure the program this way, and we're gonna you know, take you through a progressive overload, and it was all that. I didn't realize that emotionally and psychologically, he needed a friend. He needed that, the accountability was of course extremely helpful, but it was just, there was so much that was happening on the emotional and psychological realm that needed to be fulfilled in order for him to actually take these steps. That's in hindsight, you know, but, but, but as we were going through it, it was just an, it was an amazing ride as he's losing all this weight and we're just hanging out as buddies every other day for two years. So he ended up losing 400 pounds. Where do you, where did you start? How did you even know where to start there? Cause that's a, such an extreme situation relative to like probably what you were dealing with with your the, you're coming into the gym you're right. not 630 pounds you, right you, so where do you start there i tried to take a common sense approach because he hadn't moved really moved his body for years so he's got to move a 630 pound body with legs that haven't been getting exercise they hadn't but he was st he still had to get up and down a couple times a day and have you ever seen anyone who squats 600 pounds a couple times a day? <laughs> Guess what? There was some muscle atrophy, but you'd be blown away at how much muscle he had on him. And right. that's the, from the, the, the physiology side of me. I was just like, it's kind oh, of amazing. Let's go. I'm licking my chops because <laughs> like, the thing is, muscle is the most active living tissue on the body, right? So that's where the majority of your metabolism, your resting metabolic rate, is due to the amount of muscle mass that you've got. He was sitting on a V12 engine and he didn't even know it. His glutes, quads, and hams were freaking massive. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm looking at his legs and they were huge. And I'm like, let's go. He hasn't even revved these things up yet. I can't wait to put him <laughs> in motion and to feed him properly, right? And put some fuel in there and like, get this guy going. Like, he's gonna drop like a rock and he did. This is the thing, like, I know a lot of people had known me for my work with individuals who are, might be in the super obese category, which is, yeah. you know, they might be 100 to 300 pounds overweight. But the thing is, all those individuals out there who are thinking, oh, my metabolism is shot, you're sitting on a V12 engine. Your, your legs, which is the largest muscle group of the body, again, they're massive. And so like, all we need to do is just stimulate those suckers for growth a little bit, put them in motion, and you can drop so fast. That's the beauty of it. It's like all the potential is right there. If you enjoyed this clip, we've got more where that came from. Be sure to check out my full conversation with Chris Powell. And one of the best ways you can help support us is to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our interviews and short videos as they come out each week.